team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Dick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Stetson Hatters and the Connecticut Huskies. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Huskies should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Second of all, make sure you eat up the boards. Lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He makes a nice shot fake. They work it around the perimeter. He takes a three, buried it. Look at that space in there. Bruce handles the feed, looking for the foul. Watch your head, young fella. They look to get it to the inside. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Now they work it around the perimeter. Barber is receiving great praise from the fans. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Up and inside. Trying to go inside. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Gave it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He shoots from outside, tickles a twine. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He shoots from right of the circle. The Hatters have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Dumps it in. Time to pick up the defense here now. Now the turnaround jump. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Burnett receives the ball. He shoots. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. For the bucket, he gets the bucket to fall. Here's another look, Dick. They're working around the arc. Got a nice screen. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. 
Got a man in high post. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target. Joseph was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. There's a high screen. Puts up the shot. Off the rim and no good. Trying to feed inside. Baseline. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the elbow. Way off target. He missed on the steal. That's going to be a great swat. Hey, it looks like he was swatting flies in the summertime. Up and inside. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The small forward receives the pass. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. He gets it to fall. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For two, perfectly executed. He's open if he wants the shot. Gave it up. He up fakes. Shoots. That was nice. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Bruce handles the pass. Kicks it out. Top, controlling the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They work the perimeter. He goes for three. He drains it. Looking for a good shot. Barber fakes the shot from the top of the key. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. For the bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. There's the rejection. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all.
down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. From right in the circle. Oh, yes. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And they come with a double team to stop it. Count that as a personal foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He is going to the line. Makes the first shot. Second one, no good. It's good. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. Boy, terrible execution on offense. The offense can't get that break going. These boys have really done their homework. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Gave it up. Looking for a good shot. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Down low, puts it on the floor. To around fadeaway, Connecticut are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Up and inside. Got some room. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There's the fake. Up and inside. On the outside. 10 seconds to put up a shot on the outside looking for a good shot he attempts the three scorches the net one on the shot clock they've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line control of the ball what a great steal defensive player was really right on top of that basketball I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Oh, oh. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two, perfectly executed.
Nick, how's he working in defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Or two. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the trap. He comes away with it. Pushing that basketball. He's going nowhere. Ball well, stolen. Over. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. On the dribble, gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. For the bucket. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Gave it up. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the dribble, gives it up. And they get the turnover. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Working around the perimeter. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Double team now, that angle. Makes it. Manning is emotionally fired up. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. And we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Hamilton goes to the line for the first time. First one, good. And there they miss one. Boards it. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Gave it up. Intercepted. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. He takes the shot off the baseline. Way off target. Connecticut is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. it up robs him of the ball here they go into the break barber makes a great move to draw the foul 
That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the free throw line. He gets it to go. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. He blocks the shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Tries for two. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brian. Three second call. He got caught camping. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Foul charge. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. He goes to the line. He gets it to go. And he got them both. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes the pass in the paint. Pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. He looks for three. Steals the pass. Puts it up looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. the outside work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart Connecticut have a nice little run going here can they keep it up though no one's proven otherwise just yet Brad look at that spacing the defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Picks off the pass. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Oh, what a high rise of great vision. The fans love it. What a terrific play. On the inside, there's a double team waiting there. Strips the ball. Look how speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. In the dying moments. Misses from downtown. At halftime, the Hatters are trailing by 10. Well, Dick, so far we've got a close one. Any play that sticks out to you as the highlight of the half? Well, the trifecta, like we see here, was and will be a part of the story of this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. The teams are just about ready to start the second half. Dick, let's see how this one unfolds. 
Harper has been one of the key components for his team, Dick. You can see he came out with a purpose, wanting this victory from the get-go. He's done a great job scoring so far. That's why they're out front at the half. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. He shoots from right of the circle. Pulls down the board. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I take a good call by the official. Not going over the whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Gets the ball. Trying to draw the foul. Finger roll. They scored 11 in a row. They're working around the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Accepted. Pushes it up. Picks off the pass. From a different area code. He doesn't get the hook. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The center takes the pass in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries to get the D to bite. Jumps into the defender. Sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Working around the arc, top of the circle. Nice shot. Steals the ball. On the break, jumps in. And he scores despite the hat. The defense senses a five-second call. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Are the right guys stepping up on the double team? Dip? Yeah, but they're stepping up too late. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains it. Gave it up. Dump it inside. Steals the pass. For two. Doesn't go. On the dribble, gives it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. out of play. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. They're definitely having some fun out there. 
Here's a flash from the post up high. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. He fouled him. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Second shot is good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. The center gets the pass. And he missed he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. There they come with a double team to stop it. Gave it up. He lets it fly. There was no doubt about that one. The Huskies are up by 18. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident. We're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Looking for a good shot. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. He shoots from long range. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. He intercepts it. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Rims out. Up. Easy one. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Moving it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He shows the sweet touch. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. With the jump hook, in and out. He pulls down the rebound. Set that screen away. He blocks the shot. 
Fast break opportunity here. Gave it up for the deuce. He puts it in with contact and all. We get another look. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops, and do it now. Makes the shot and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Fakes the shot. Turnaround jumper. We've got a very lopsided effort here tonight, Dick. There's absolutely no doubt who the superior team has been tonight. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Entry pass in the paint. Up fake. Fakes the jumper. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. He brought the ball back down to the floor, and he stripped them. On the dribble, gives it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. In the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Inside. In the paint. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Out on that screener. Blocked. Takes away the pass. The center takes the feed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to Tussar. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they really did a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The center with the ball. Tries for two. 
Off the rim and no good. The point guard takes the pass. He gets the bucket. Take a look right here. Offensive drop step. Little. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. They work it around the perimeter. Launches away. Goes. Defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. For two, and he missed. The land. Looking for the foul, lays it up. Nick, what can they do to stop their scoring barrage? I don't know, Brad. Dim the lights, maybe? I don't know. They're on fire right now. Pump fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He attempts the three. He nails the bucket. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Look at that spacing. They work the perimeter. He goes for three. The Huskies have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. For the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. He's got an open look for the shot. They move it into the front court. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. It's that what makes college so special. The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points, it doesn't matter. How about this State Farm moment? Brought to us from our good friends at State Farm. For the deuce, perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important at 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes the outside jumper, scorches the net. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Picked off. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He dials long distance.
From the top of the key. Nice shot. Hip and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. For two, drains it. Gave it up for the bucket. Rims out. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number 21 is whistled for the foul. Second personal foul. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. At the line. First shot, good. No problems so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Misses the second shot. He cleans the glass. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. There's the trap. Strips the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Goes in. perimeter he shoots from downtown the Huskies have got to continue to get him the ball they need to keep feeding him the ball it's simple <laughs> trying to stay with him defensively down he goes oh what an acting job there's no doubt in my mind he's flopping baby in the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The high screen goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Shot clock is dead. Here's a double team. He comes away with it. Here they go into transition. Moving it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Nice high post screen. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. At the free throw line. Opportunity. Makes the front end of the one and one. Makes the shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. 
All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on, one team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, won this game, Brad, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Connecticut opened the tournament with an impressive first round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.